Welcome to Muddy River News this week, furnished by Harvey's. I'm Bob Goff. Tierney Craig is a very busy woman these days. We're talking about lots of stuff. Hi. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's first off, let's get the. I think there's a lot of great stuff going on here. Um, some of it's, it's yes. not easy. None of it's been easy. Even trying to get the Sixth Street stuff done is not easy. But that in the in the city council meeting we just had, the city finally signed off on that. Yes, which I think is a good, very good point. A lot of people there's always going to be naysayers. Right. And it might have taken five years or six years even to start, but with persistence good things happen. Yeah, and uh, again, since you know we're neighbors here, uh, I think it's a great thing. And again, you got the money from IDOT that you guys worked to get that grant and then the match from the city. Uh, so, you know, you've got all this stuff going on. Now, that's going, that includes the whole spiel. It's streets, it's sewers, it's sidewalks, parking, everything, right? It's everything. And we even, uh, we voted to include Jail Alley. So Jail Alley will look better with more lighting, better parking. Uh, we're going to head down a little bit toward EFB, not that far, but there will be a food truck plaza. Mm -hmm. So, you know, instead of them running their generators and all that during our events, they'll right. actually be able to plug in. It'll be convenient. They'll want to come and serve out of there. But you are getting rid of my parking spaces just here on the outside of my building, right? No. You're not? No. Those aren't gone? Oh, no, you still even have the parking there. Wow, I thought those were gone. No. Okay, good. Never mind. That's no. awesome. That's great. So, but when, uh, so what's the time, one thing that we didn't talk about yeah. last night was the timeline. What's the timeline? Now? Correct. Uh, they're going to start in the spring. Okay. And I know they're going to kind of stagger the work because you really don't want the street. I mean, prime time for probably a lot of your neighbors who have shops and stuff is like the shopping holiday season. Are they going to kind of stagger some work on that? Yeah. So they've done a very good job. Um, Maggie Strong has, has plans in place that, you know, we're going to close the west side and then the east side will be open one way. Then we're going to close the east side. You know, I don't know what order, sure. but it will. there will be a plan. It's all not going to be closed all at once. Um, there will be parking still. You know, it's not going to be, I mean, construction isn't clean, right. but there definitely is a plan um, and you will be able to get around down here. And it goes from, again, it's Maine to Vermont, right? Correct. All the way to all jail. The way. So that's, mm -hmm. again, I think it's, you know, again, and this is really something that we can build on. I know you guys have done, you know, so much with uh, the brewing company and also you have, uh, you're involved in the Cider House project, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. And winner, winner, I, I, we, they did drop off a very nice bottle of cider that I haven't nice. cracked yet. When, uh, when is that scheduled to be open? So my contractor is way more optimistic than <laughs> I am. I'm more the realist. <laughs> I'm saying summer. They, Next summer. Yeah, tw okay. 2024 okay. summer. Okay. They say late spring. I'm, okay. I'm just going to say summer. So when uh, when it, when it's all said and done, and then I know your your neighbors, the, the old tap room, I know there's stuff going on there, and of course you guys have been doing great stuff at the brewing company for a while. Um, when, when's Dark River going to be available? Uh, so what's it? Oh, it's pretty much October, so you okay. have like a month left. Okay, I can wait. That's fine. But you have is your Oktoberfest ready? Oh, Oktoberfest is ready. It's yeah, you better get some. Okay, I'll get some here the next couple of days. So, um, but anyway, so that's very, you know, all this stuff going on. So when will kind of be the grand unveiling where it's the full promenade with all the, with everything all set up, done? Boom. So that project is going to take full 2024. Okay. Hopefully by, you know, November, they're saying it'll okay. be wrapped up. But definitely spring, when the night, when the weather gets nice in spring of 25. Then it is. It should be there, and you know we'll, we'll have, have great stuff party. going on. Well, yeah. more more great parties. <laughs> more and, great parties. Uh, I was unfortunately out of town Saturday, but it looked like the Maker's Market just continues to grow and, and do great things. Oh, we were we were really blown away, record numbers. Great. Yeah. And again, why why do you think that event has become so popular? Because it's family friendly. I you know I just think you know I have my kids are getting bigger now, but when I had small kids. You're stuck. You can't take your little toddlers anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's like, golly, I wish there was something for, for us. And I think it just, you know, we have the museum and the library and the Croc Center. And, you know, we even have, um, I think for next year, we might get the Art Center on board, too. Like, right. everybody wants to help facilitate events for everyone. And, again, I think that's, yeah, that's, uh, how many years have you been doing that now? So that was the third, third year. One, right? So yeah. So this next, you know, it's biannual, but that was year okay. three. Okay. Because yeah, the last one was. I know the last one I was blown away by and thought it was great. And again, we were out of town, but uh, all the reports and everything I saw on social media was like were just fantastic. So. Yeah. And having, you know, and again, 
having Sixth Street, it's, it's not like you can't do stuff now, but once the promenade's in place, it'll really be a lot more welcoming and inviting. Exactly. Not, I mean, it is, we have a few handicap, you know, people in wheelchairs and walkers and different things. We really want it to be for everyone. And it's, I, I you know, I don't want anybody to struggle to get from sure. a shop down to the music. I mean, it's really important to us that everybody can come, enjoy. It doesn't matter, you know, your age, your, you know, your ability, like everybody. So, I mean, that's, it's really exciting that there's going to be a place for everyone. And when, when you talk about family friendly, I mean, one thing that, you know, Quincy is, is known for, you know, we've had, whether it's church picnics or what have you, you know, there's always beer there. And of course, beer is your business. And again, you can be family friendly and have beer. If not, if you don't drink eight beers, just have a beer too. Enjoy yourself, Ex right? Yes. Yeah. I think that's the big, um, people will call us a bar and every time I kind of like cringe. <laughs> Like, we're not a bar. I want, I'm not going to serve the people who can't walk out of here. No. Um, yeah, no, it's, you You can drink responsibly. Sure. And in a way, you know, we also have root beer. So yeah. have a non-alcoholic drink. And water. And water. I mean, yeah. yeah. And so you sell Pepsi, too. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah it's, it's, and uh, I think that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about, you know, what's coming next door and with the cider and the, the house, the whole thing. I think, and again, you know, if we get some stuff going here, possibly on the west side of the street, too. Yes. I think that's, you know, and, and, I, and when you look at it, and again, it's, it's having that mixture of shops and entertainment. And, and I know one thing that I've always said, and you don't have this problem because you're open after 5 o'clock, is when you have these events, a lot of your neighbors, you know, staying open a couple extra hours, being accommodating when you have the crowds. Yeah. I think that's a big part of it because we go to Herman every year. And my gosh, you're there on Saturday and Sundays in Herman and all the shops and everything are just... Oh, they're hopping. Yeah. I mean, it's you can hopping. get chocolate covered bacon and wash oh. it down with, you know, some wine and it's, it's, you know. Yeah, it's a party. That's what I think um, after this maker's market, you know, a lot of people are seeing, you know, they get to experience shops that they don't normally get to experience because everyone's open. Right. So, you know, we're just trying to foster that atmosphere where that happens more and more often. Well, again, I mean, I think everything's again it's all pointing in the right direction and uh you know the work that was done by by you and, and your neighbors and friends along sixth street it's to be commended and uh i'm just glad that we are a, a kind of a part of it because we're you know right here yeah. so and i hope other people follow yeah i think um i'm just gonna say that like like wouldn't it be cool if the abbey and barney's and state street like had some sort of like walking yeah the triangle I mean, or whatever right. yeah. wouldn't that be cool if there was so like too. a pedestrian bridge yeah and, yeah i think and it doesn't take people think things like that are so unsurmountable but it's not you right. get this you know you come together make a plan get some grants do some things yeah. you know work your magic and boom. yeah you can do it in you know in any part of town you know if the folks on the east end wanted to do something and to create their own to create their own uh atmospheres. I yeah, think that's what it's all about. Your own, you know, your own neighborhood work. So, well, another project that you decided to take on was to become a part of the Riverfront Commission <laughs> yeah. on top of everything else. Because I wasn't busy enough. You weren't busy enough at all. No. Um, you know, the, I, the master plan, it looks great. I would have done something smaller scale had I been involved, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> but it's still, I think when people look at it and say, okay, this $50 million we want to spend, we're not looking to spend it in one year. We're looking no. to spend it over 20 years. 20 years, right. People go, oh, but that plan gives the committee, like, a guide. Mm -hmm. We're basically supposed to be implementing what the people have voted. You know, I'm just going to worry about step one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, like, there's things down the line. You know, if somebody came and paid for it, you know, we'd move it up the line, sure. but um, you got to look at it little pieces, little pieces. Um, you know, the the burial project has got people oh up in arms. It's not going to happen, or what? It will happen. Maybe it'll take longer. Maybe we'll have to get a different grant. You know, I don't, I don't know. We're going to be creative and we're going to sit around the table and try to find ways. Um, I'm not going to let the naysayers 
get us down. Like as a board, we, we're, we're going to make these things happen. And again, just because this doesn't happen, you can go around that for now and work on other things. Yes. Again, I've, yes. Know, I've said this a hundred times. Let's put some boats actually there. Let's put some docks there. Let's do some stuff there. Yes. The amphitheater someplace, great. I mean, where I don't care if you put it north or south. I don't care. Yeah, no. But, the, but that's the kind of thing that will bring people in. The amphitheater is something. Having the boats there and, uh, again, having the access to get up the hill, we have joked about that several times, but it's like just do something that will create that. Again, we're and talking about creating atmospheres in neighborhoods. We need to let the, the private sector... Sure. You know, as things are built, who's to say that there's not somebody who starts a trolley company yeah. that takes them up the hill? Mm -hmm. Like, who knows what people are going to do? I think we, we just um, need to keep moving and then allow momentum and allow a lot of people to come to the table with ideas and listen, you know, to other people's ideas and, you know, try to implement the things that make sense. And again, it's not like... We look at the, a lot of things that we look at black and white or either or. When we talk about a riverfront or a sports complex or all those sorts of things, it can all be done. It might not all be done like that, but it can all be done gradually and you just take your time. And again, it, it's not like Quincy Brewing is sitting there at the, on Front Street. You're back on yeah, six. Yeah. But still, this is a project that you believe will benefit the entire area. So that's why you're a part of yeah, it. Yeah, the idea, like, oh, Josh and I both are just. We believe in our community. I want to do anything that's going to further Quincy. So if I need to donate my time, my energy, whatever, I want to make Quincy better. We want to make Quincy better. So the riverfront is definitely going to help us. You know, any revenue that we're getting from the people that come off that boat or that visit or that, mm -hmm. you know, stay, that eat in our restaurants, that spend their money, you know, it benefits Quincy. Like I said, the, you know, two weeks ago we had that military boat stop at Hannibal and 13,000 people showed up to watch it. And you know not all of them left without eating. <laughs> right. I mean. Or buying a Mark Twain t-shirt or something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, again, I, I think there's there's room enough for all. And people say, well, we're going to stop in Hannibal or we're going to stop in Quincy. Well, the river goes both ways. So they're going to go down or they're going to go up or whatever. Yes. I mean, you can make it accommodating. You can, you see these ships come in and. You know, when people say, you know, you create atmosphere. That's what we said the whole time. That create atmosphere, make people want to be here. Build it, they will come yeah. kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. And they're not going to stop at the same places they, they stop on the way up and the way back if they're coming back. It, you know, yeah. there's so many options. And, yeah. and like you said, if there's something for them to look at, to see when they get down here, they're going to want to stop. Yeah, I, again, I think that, again, it just takes time. I mean, you know, we're not, you know, some, you know hopefully my kids will see that someday. Your kids will, well, hopefully this will all come to fruition. Yeah. And uh, I mean, but I'm, I, I'm very excited because, you know, when you, when you lo talk about this kind of progress, the Sixth Street Promenade is is real. And it's, it, we it's now, here. The, mon the money is there, it's happening. And I think that's something to build around. And I think you look at that project and you go, that took five years. Sure. And it's not even the scale of the river, right. you know, and less people and, you know, all the things. But, you know, realistically, you have to be patient with the riverfront. I mean, there's going to be tons of speed bumps on the way and there's sure. going to be a ton of. But, you know, you get the right people involved. Yeah. You get some people that, you know, moving forward. It's, it's just the same thing with, with the, trying to get the sports complex. You know, the park district's done so much with the baseball fields. And now if they get Paul Dennis, the soccer fields. Those are the kind of things that are just going to bring more and more people here. And again... They're, they aren't either or propositions, but no. you also said there's got to be some private dollars dumped in there too, and that's what speeds up the process. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate your time as always. Yeah. Great seeing yeah. you. And I'll be across the street shortly. <laughs> okay, I'll bring you some beer. <laughs> <laughs> that's Tierney Craig. I want to thank her for stopping by. I want to thank our folks at Harvey's as always for being our sponsor. I'm Bob Goff. We'll see you next week. <laughs>